Hey guys, we're gonna do a quick video today on Snelling hooks. So we're tying up some bass rigs here. We're using Gamagatsu 5 aught octopus style hook that has the offset eye of the hook. When you're snelling, you're not tying to the eye of the hook. You're tying directly to the shaft. You're coming through the eye, tying directly to the shaft, which is distributing that load across the hook, as well as providing, you know, what I consider a, a straight um, pull point on the hook. And we'll demonstrate this in a little bit, but if you tie only on the end, your pull point is actually going to pull the hook like this, and you're actually pulling the hook away from, you, away from the fish. If you're going directly to the shaft, it's a straight, it's a, it's a straight pull point. So there's a couple ways to tie this knot. This one's a personal favorite of mine. I don't think a lot of people up here use this, but take your leader material, run it through the eye, you cinch this tag end off, and then a loose end, you're gonna wrap 10 times. Downwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then when your tag end on your leader side, you're gonna bring that from the shank side through the eye of the hook. You're gonna cinch that down. And then this becomes your leader material. I would go directly to a barrel sole. Flip your tag end. There you have it. It's essentially a knotless snell. And again, your pulling point is coming from the shaft of the hook, not this offset eye. If you're tying directly to the eye and you pulled, the hook's gonna turn away from the fish. Here, you're gonna get a steady, even pull. Here's the more commonly used way of snelling. You're gonna come in through the eye from the front of the hook where the tip of the hook is. Make yourself a tag end through the loop. And bring that loop back up towards the eye. From here, you're gonna wrap this tag end six to seven times back towards the tip of the hook. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what we want to do is finish it off. Finish this off by going through this exposed loop, making sure you pinch it tight so it doesn't unravel on you. From here, you're gonna start pulling your main line and it's gonna, it's gonna draw in that exposed loop. And also you can see it'll start cinching up on those wraps. And there you have it. Tightly coiled. The tag end is cinched underneath all those wraps. You can quickly take that off and there's your finished product. 
Hey, I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, if you like us, please subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Quick one, guys. If you like our videos and want to support future production, please support us on our Patreon page. For as little as $1 a video, you can help us create awesome content. Please check out the link below.